And now a CBS special presentation. Rob and Amber fell in love on Survivor and ran the amazing race. Now they're tying the knot. Rob and Amber get married next. This is the tale of two survivors. Amber. Rob. They met as all-stars. When I first met Rob... Boston style. I really didn't like him too much. I thought she was smoking hot, but she had a little attitude. Then formed an alliance. So we teamed up to win, but little did I know where it was actually going to end up. The more I got to know, the more I realized how sweet a person she is. That's when things started changing. He won her heart. Will you marry me? I can't imagine my life without her. She won a million dollars. The winner of Survivor All-Stars. <laughs> then they ran the amazing race. Go! stayed true to each other, even though they came up short. Robin Amber, you are the second team to arrive. I think the next part of my life I'm looking forward to is getting married and starting a family. Now, there's one adventure left. Wow, look at that. It's time for them to get married. I feel like a bride today. I love I this. Love look, at all, look at all this. The shoes are too pointy. Oh, really? <laughs> I got a house to furnish. Simple, Simple steps. steps for writing your marriage vows. Drops to tail, prawns, landfish. <laughs> Don't cry, baby. But they gotta make it happen in only four weeks. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Nothing is ever easy with us. I know what you're upset about. Do I ever get to talk? You gotta write your vows. You have to decide who's gonna marry you. And there's your final dress fitting. The jewelry. The hair, the pedicure, the manicure, the mixologist, the Stop! Cocktail. This whole thing is like the amazing race all over again. Fasten your seatbelts. Here we go again. I believe that we'll get married in one month. I didn't picture water this blue and sand that perfect. sudden, out of nowhere, it's Colin Cowie. I mean, we're talking about Oprah's party planner here. I mean, he's done the best of the best. I'm thinking, if anybody can pull off this wedding in four weeks, Colin's the man. Welcome to Atlantis. Hi, Pleasure. Colin. Hey, buddy. So my first reaction with Colin is, Colin and I probably wouldn't be going to the same bar, if you know what I mean. So we have a wedding to plan, right? Yes. Could I plan the most extraordinary, spectacular weddings around the world? You okay. any good? I'm as good as it gets. All right. right. And yours will be the best. All right. That's what I like to hear. So we needed a venue. And I thought the most spectacular place on the planet is right here at the Atlantis Resort on Paradise Island in the Bahamas. It is paradise. Now we've got four weeks to plan the wedding before you guys walk down that aisle together. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to need you guys to help me do this. Are you ready for this? Let's yeah, try it. Let's ready. go make it happen. Let's go. So I have to tell you this one more thing. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I want each one of you to come up with a couple of surprises for the other one. So, Amber, you need to come up with a surprise that's really going to touch his heart and his soul. And I want you to come up with a surprise that's going to bring tears to her eyes. Then he starts dropping in. You know, it has to be from the heart. I want you to make her cry. And I'm trying not to insult the guy because I just basically met him, you know. But he's out of his mind. This is your wedding. This is the time okay. you're going to celebrate All in front right. of the rest of the world. Yes. Add another thing to the list of things to do in Absolutely. Four weeks. <laughs> That's going to give us a big JDM at the end. <laughs> a jaw dropping moment. Shall we continue? Oh, <laughs> so Colin takes us over to a table, orders a round of drinks, and immediately we get right into it, start talking about the wedding. How many guests are we looking at? 500. 
No, 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 don't I'll have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you one thing, having done this for 20 years, the bigger your wedding, okay, mm -hmm. the, the more... Better. No. Yes, the bigger, Colin, you the bigger, know, the, the bigger the better. The bigger the production. The bigger the better. For me, I think a, a good number would be a number with the two in front of us. <laughs> gonna be tough. Some people aren't gonna feel so special after they don't get an invitation because they knew they were cut from the list. We already got a guest list of five, six hundred, and when it gets down to it, somebody's gonna have to give, and it's not gonna be me. In terms of color, is the particular color that comes to mind? Well, colors, I mean, I want to play with the colors of the ocean. I yeah. love all the teals and greens and, and blues. Which are great colors we're seeing in fashion right now, too. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good, exactly. I can describe this party in three words. It's just going to be fabulous. What about music? It would be great to have, like, you know, the steel drums or an amazing bohemian choir. choir. I love the idea of the choir. Bridesmaids, what are they wearing? I want the bridesmaids to wear a teal. I don't see, like, big fresh flowers. I don't know, maybe the groom's just wearing a Yeah, let's play with the idea that we're gorgeous, all covered in seashells. Beautiful, white, sacred, beautiful. Yes, I love tons of white. I love that. Okay, the sun setting. So what should we be having for dinner? As soon as Colin brought up food, Rob's eyes lit up. He put down his drink. He's like, all right, let's talk food. The okay. food needs yeah. to be unbelievable. Yeah. I agree with Because everybody completely. in my family is a critic. Pretty much I've been thinking about the uh, food list for this wedding about an hour after I proposed. Maybe some fish. I love soup, so any kind of soup. Steak and lobster. Should you do steak and lobster together? Or steak and lobster should be together. You really want to do soup and turf? Yeah. I'm thinking, oh my god, we're not going to be doing surf and turf at this wedding. Burgers, pigs on a spit, lamb, sausages with peppers and onions. <laughs> he's like naming off barbecue. every single food I think he's ever tasted in his life. Prosciutto with the melon, <laughs> ribs, pizza, uh, no, that, I pigs, see pizza featuring pigs on, on, on a <laughs> spit. And Colin's sitting there like, how much food can this guy eat? How much food does he expect his guests to eat? Our wedding reception is not a restaurant. You can't order every single thing on the menu. We'll get rid of the stuff that we don't need, like the soup and the salad. You just told me five minutes ago she can have anything she wants. Exactly. She can, she can, but trust me, this, this, this is what, what she wants. Memory. She yeah, wants memory. the food. He's telling you what you want. I want the food, want. but I don't want <laughs> sausages and, and prosciutto. For a groom who really doesn't have an opinion, he really has a lot of opinions. <laughs> There's a lot to do. The more involved you are, the better it's going to be for everybody. Thanks, Colin. Pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. I know where we're going. So are we looking for our reception right now? Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's Mario Andretti. I like this area for the reception. This is good, because we could have, like, floating candles or something in the yeah. pool. Yeah, we could take this from drab and make it fab. <laughs> All right. I guess we go this way. Where are you going? <laughs> Two, three. Oh, yeah, I got the brake on. We got it, we got it, we got it. Everybody in. There we go. <laughs> Maybe we can incorporate this into the bachelor party or something. But I don't think we've found the wedding site yet. We haven't found it yet, no. The thing that I really like about Colin is that he really seems in tune to what Amber and I want and who we are as people and wants to make this wedding representative of that. This is nice. Look at gorgeous view, and imagine you're walking from over here, coming down here, making lovely big S with, it, with all that beautiful water behind you. Crashing in. The sun setting on your face, being kissed by the golden rays. We fell in love on the beach. Why not get married on the beach? The beach is beautiful. The water's gorgeous. Amber and I both loved it. It was so great just to come up, and it, and it was like the angels came out. Oh, you know, here it is. And I was so excited just because, you know, we've been waiting for this for so long. So what do you think? We're going to ride jet skis into the wedding? Do you think you're marrying James Bond? <laughs> He is. <laughs> oh, I feel like a bride. I feel like I'm really planning my wedding. It's not just in my head anymore. It's going to be on a beach. It's going to be spectacular. It's not a dream anymore. It's coming true. Well, there's definitely 
little nicer in the Bahamas than it is here. Man, we're definitely not in the Bahamas anymore. We're gonna be late. All of a sudden, you're in a hurry. Can't help it, I don't like being late. So first step on the list is to get this dress designed. So I swap Rob for my mom and my sister, and we head over to Arlette's, who's going to make the dress. Hi. We are here! Yay. Yay. You look pretty, you look nice. Arlette is my mom's best friend, and she's known me since the day I was born. I don't know if you want a strap, you want something hanging over your shoulder. I don't want a strapless. No strapless. Most girls in my position would probably go out and find the most extravagant wedding gown designer in the world to design their dress. Millions and millions of people are going to see this dress. It's the principal icon of what the wedding is all about. I've never met this designer. I've never heard of this designer. Your yeah. shoulders are nice and broad. She has nice bones. Nice bones. <laughs> I've worked with extraordinary designers Balenciaga, John Galliano, Christian Dior. Big, big names in the industry, but I've never worked with anyone from Beaver. You did good. Look, this is my dress. Yay! <laughs> I haven't seen a sketch, a piece of fabric. I hope there's no wedding dress catastrophe. The guest list. Dun, dun, dun. The worst part of a wedding. Honestly, how hard can it be? Have you mentioned it to any of these people about the wedding? Have yeah, they all saw me propose to you on TV. <laughs> they know I'm getting married. Well, a lot of these people you have and guests and guests and guests and guests. I'm not doing and guests. Okay, that's fine with you. Well, I don't think you should either. We should both do the same. Well, that's your opinion. We have to make some cuts. There's only so much room in the Bahamas for our people. Kill me. I figure if they want to bring a guest, let them bring a guest. What's the big deal? You know, I didn't realize that this is gonna cause such a problem. I know All what you're. My... I know what you're upset about. Do I ever get to talk? What I'm upset about is the fact that I'm is. not doing end guests, and no. all my friends are gonna say, "Now, why were all Rob's friends allowed to bring guests, but no. we weren't allowed?" To bring all your single friends that come to the uh, party, you're afraid oh, they're not yeah, gonna they have anybody to hook up, up with. with your friends. <laughs> Mom. Amber doesn't want to write end guest. If you know they're not gonna bring anybody, what's the harm? Well, don't put it down. Why well, what's the harm? But why give him that option? Why because it's option? respectful. Well, you can't, you don't do that. That's, That's the way I do plan. it. I'm going to tell you something. When it comes down to it, if I have to cut people, I'll cut people. If our family and friends can't be there, then I'm going to be pissed. Coming up, Amber has her bridal shower, but Rob has other ideas. He's not going to show up. And the wedding plans kick into full swing. Why it's going to be a fight if we're taking dance lessons, I'll tell you that right now. Then later, Amber begins her quest for the ultimate surprise. You're going to shut your eyes. Okay. <gasps> wow. Rob and Amber Get Married will continue here on CBS. Today is the day of my bridal shower. About 10.30, 11, Amber's getting ready for the shower right now. And I'm here with my future brother-in-laws, and we're going to go for a quad ride, because that's what we do over here in uh, Pittsburgh, PA. The wedding shower is for the woman. So I will make an appearance later in the day. I may be a few minutes late. Fashionably late, I guess they call it. Thank you so much for coming to my bridal shower. Everything is going amazingly according to plan, which is not a good sign because things should not go according to plan. Something bad always has to happen. told me that he'd arrive at the shower within an hour and an hour and a half or so, so he would be there for pretty much all of the gift opening. Come on, quick, 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 quick! I don't know where Rob is. Supposed to be here by now. All of our towels. So I'm opening the gifts and, uh, you know, opening yet another one and yet another one, and Rob still hasn't walked through the door. It's so cute. I'm starting to think, He's not going to show up. He's going to show up when everybody's gone. Where are they? Do you see them? A little bit of behind. I'm still waiting. <laughs> I got my insurance policy under my right arm in the form of a dozen pink roses. Flowers will keep her from getting mad. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yes. Hi, so pretty. This is Rob. <laughs> But even though he knew he was late, he's like, oh, I'll just get flowers and I'll look really special nice and then she can't be mad at me. Hi, baby. Hello. You know, I just kept my mouth shut. I couldn't say anything. The charm worked. He always gets me. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. It's been pretty cool to come back to Pittsburgh and hang out for a couple days. It was nice to relax. Now we're off to Boston and I got a feeling things aren't gonna go as easy. Do you feel like dancing? No. Um, I think maybe we should go take some dancing lessons. We're not taking dancing lessons. Why it's not? gonna be a fight if we're taking dancing lessons, I'll tell you that right now. Let's yeah. see if you need dancing lessons. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what if we want to do something a little faster? Well then go dance with your friends. Oh! If you can't dance, then wouldn't you like to know how to dance? No, I don't care. We're going to be dancing in front of hundreds of people at our I wedding. I don't care, I don't care. When we were on the island, why did you tell me you wanted to learn I how to dance? I told you, because I wanted to, like, go out with you. Oh, so you lied to me? Yeah. Well, that's wrong. I fell in love with that person on the island. It's not fair for him to okay. make okay. these things up. Okay, I'm done. No, stop fooling around. And let me tell you guys, next time you want to promise a girl you can dance, think twice. You want to go dancing? I'll go dance with you. Okay. I figure this is our wedding day. It's a big thing. This is what Amber wants, so let's do it right. I'm going dancing. As soon as I walked into the uh, dance studio, I saw all the mirrors and the big floor and these two twirling around in the center. She looks like she just got off a cruise ship and he just got off the boat from Ireland. And I was just thinking to myself, no way, I want out of here. It's like a little bit like two, I don't know. My well, you buddy, don't have to go like this. My buddy's seen me doing this, you well, know? You I'll never be dance. able to come home. Baby, this will be good for the first dance. First, she kept it very simple. You're slow, slow, quick, quick. So just follow along to my voice. So we have five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> you're not what paying are... attention, are you? Slow, you're not paying attention. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Just keep going, just keep going. Oops. <laughs> Side together. See, you... It's okay, you're stepping away. It's all right. It's the all shoes right. are too pointy, that's why. Oh, really? <laughs> Come on, keep going. Well, I don't right? know what you're doing. It's I have to, to move you. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Dancing That's nothing that I taught you. My instructor was a little bit like, no, scratch it. I want you to leave. You turn around and face this way. Take this seriously, please. No laughing. Try it again. If you do it, then you can laugh. Go ahead. I guess I didn't have the skill level to begin with that Amber did, so I know what I don't have, and it's dancing skills. Not so bad for the first lesson. Thank you. But I really do need you to come back. No. Amber? So right now I'm going in town Boston to meet some of my buddies up at the spa. Who are you all day? Amber made me go to a dancing lesson today. Oh, Fred Astaire, yeah, baby, yeah. And, uh, I got them all over here tonight because I got to kind of drop a little bomb on them. They're all coming down to Florida with me this week to help me uh, get my surprise for Amber going. Pretty much the reason why I asked you guys out here, it's actually pretty important. My dad just built a house down in Florida, and he's gonna let us move into the new house. Amber doesn't know it. Wow. The problem is, the, the thing is bare. There's absolutely nothing in it. I want to kind of make it ours. So you gotta come down, give me help doing the masonry or doing some painting. In addition to that, I got a million and one other things to do this week. Oh, he's bagging out already. <laughs> You're gonna tell us what to do and then what? I gotta take off and go to New York. I gotta shop for wedding clothes. Come on! Oh. Are you serious? Colin Cowie's gonna take me Wait, around I town. Who? 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 Richard Simmons? <laughs> what? <laughs> as much as you guys screw around and have a good time, at the same time, remember that this is my gift to her. 
through you guys, because you guys but. are my buddies. This is something that I have been thinking about for a long time, and when she sees what I'm trying to do and putting a home together for us, I think it's going to throw her away. I'll do my best. That's all I can say. I can say that. So I was struggling a little bit on what to get Rob, but I know hands down, if you get something with the Red Sox, it's gonna work. I'm onto something that's gonna blow him away. And I'm grabbing my sister Nicole, who's my major of honor, to help me out. Hello? Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? Are you Amber? I'm Amber, yes. Yeah. Hi, it's Nicole, hi. Amber's sister. Oh. Wow, this is amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Rob and I first discovered Giovanni's paintings when we were at a bar. He mentioned he would love to have one someday. Well, I got word through the grapevine that Giovanni's actually painted one of the Red Sox. On three. Ready? Okay. Okay. Three. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. I had no idea what to expect. So I got the painting, but I want to do something else with the painting. It might be a little crazy idea, might be a little risky, but I really want to give it a shot. Rob will love it, but it's just going to make my life that much harder. So I'm over here in New York and we're going shopping. Cece's meeting me and we gotta pick out some clothes for the wedding. All right, there you go, buddy. Thanks a lot. Cece! How are you? What's up, buddy? Welcome to New York. You well? How are you? Good. You ready for the shopping? Let's go, buddy. We're here. This is a very nice fabric. What do you think of this fabric? Feel this. It's 100% silk. Yeah, I'm going to go for no. the prints. No way. And she's got very good taste. But I saw this which I, I like the idea very much. It's that same silk. It's a real casual jacket. She was pretty adamant about no jackets. She even went on the invitation and put no jackets, no ties. I came into Tommy Bahama with an idea of what Amber wanted. I gotta call her, man. I gotta check it out. Check in with the boss. All right. Hello? Yeah. Hello, darling. How are you? Hi, Colin. I'm wonderful. How are you? Good, good, good. We actually have some very nice selection. We found a, a, a wonderful silk trousers, but they're like the three different colors of sand. That's good. I would have never thought okay. of that. The shirt would be out. With the trousers and then with the jacket, and you can peel the jacket off for the reception afterwards. I love it. I'm so happy. Let me, let me put you back to the bus. Okay, thanks, Colin. Bye, darling. I'll see you soon. Okay. Hopefully. You'd be good on Survivor, by the way. That was, that was <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like Colin. Like, I don't like like him. Like, you know what I'm saying, but I like him. He's all right in my book. All right, I love you. Love ya. Bye. I feel a lot better now. Good. So I got the painting. Next thing is to get all the Red Sox to sign it. OK, don't walk too far. I'm going to fall off. Oh my gosh, it's raining harder. Can we have checked the weather before we decided to do this? Oh, I'm soaked to the bone. Thing is, they're all down in Florida. There's only two more days of spring training. And who knows how I'm going to get this huge thing even down there. <laughs> Where's it going, anyways? Florida. Florida, OK. And I'd like it to be there tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> That's funny. Coming up, will Rob's boys be able to make this empty house into a home? What the heck is this? Yeah, this is a candle holder. Right yeah, here. I don't know anything about it. Then, time is running out and Amber's wedding dress isn't ready. I need you here once more before I do all the final stitches. And later, the big event. Rob and Amber Get Married will continue here on CBS. Where's it going, anyways? Florida. Florida. Okay. And I'd like it to be there tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> That's funny. Let's take a look and see what we can do. We can get there probably by 10.30. Morning. 10.30 in the morning. Sounds good. Pretty much now that I dragged you all the way out here to L.A., I guess I can uh, let you know what's going on. You know how we're going down to Florida to fix up the house down there? Yeah. Well, basically, I need your help picking out stuff to furnish the house. They got this place out here in L.A. It's called Z Gallery. Amber told me she liked it. And this is where they got their, their biggest showrooms. That's why we got on a flight and flew seven hours to come out here. I need to pick out all this stuff. Then they got to get it, put it in a truck, 
drive it down to Florida and ship it down there. I didn't come out here tonight to pick everything out. Yeah. Then it's, it's, it wouldn't get there on time and there's no way I could pull this off. This whole thing is like the amazing race all over again. Watch out, baby. Boys from Boston and Beverly Hills. You do some damage in this place, huh? I hope she just appreciates the, the thought. Because me and you decorate in a house, that's, that's tough. First thing first, let's pick out a bed, right? Yeah. There's no freaking way we're getting this one. She wants a canopy bed. Okay. I know it's going to kill me, but I'm going to do it for her. How about a bearskin rug? No, she'll kill me if I buy that bearskin rug. We need this big table here. This is nice. We can sit down and watch the game or maybe a romantic comedy. Two chairs, two couches, one of these tables. The and box the, and the side tables. And one of the box tables, one big one, two of those. One of these, two of these. Let me get one of these too. I don't know what it is, but it definitely looks like something that somebody knew who was decorating <laughs> would get. You know what I like to do? From here, all the way down, wrap it up. The rug and everything. Okay. Do you need a buffet table for the dining room? A what? A buffet table. <laughs> Do you know what a buffet table is? Um, Look at this. Nice. Amber candles. I take three dozen of those. All right. That'll make her happy. I like to get this basket <laughs> full of balls. Oh, can we get one of these, too? It might it, be a little too bachelor pad. You know what I'm realizing now? I don't know anything at all about decorating. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell I did tonight. I just basically went and spent about 40, 50 grand in this store trying to furnish a house. We're going down to Florida yeah. tomorrow. Nothing like drawing attention to ourselves. No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is it. We got to put the last finishing touch to this big surprise, and it's pretty much a big finishing touch. We got to get to these players, and that's a pretty big obstacle and a pretty big challenge. Uh, we need two tickets, unless we need a third for the pitcher. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We got a good spot. We're going to get this bad boy signed. Uh -oh, are we in trouble? Excuse me. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What are you doing here? Um. I don't know if it's really fair that you're monopolizing the entire spot here. Great. You know, everything was going so smoothly. We got here, we got the perfect spot, and these guys are going to give us a hard time. Where else is there to go? You know, like, this is the best spot. I've come this far. There's no way this is not going to come off. Me and my brother Mike had to fly all night long from LA to Pensacola so we can meet my buddies and get started on this house. Hey, Ambo, let's actually do some work this weekend. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we kind of like to leave it to be in the neighborhood, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, take your shoes off. Yeah, oh. Look at how plain it is. White, white, white. You make this that. tan, you make the bedroom green make, or yellow. You gotta make one room a oh, color. Red. You, know red. you need red. Hot red oh, in the bedroom, bed. <laughs> Within five minutes, all of them turned into interior decorators. I mean, they had ideas coming out of everywhere. We gotta cut this. Right this is a cable TV over here. We're gonna cobblestone right here. We gotta cut out from here to here. Thousand gallon fish tank up there. We only got a, like an hour before the hardware store closes. So let's go. Away we go. Right now, it's a woman's job. Emma should be down here telling us what we gotta do. I'm okay. trying to step up for once, you know. Sure. Chances are, everything we do, she's gonna wanna redo. Air freshener yeah. and toilet, toilet paper. paper. <laughs> Take one of those. Oh, we might need a grill. Four, five of those. Safety first. Safety first. Amber would like this. Don't listen to them. I'm trying to find something beachy for my uh, for my family room, and for the bedroom, sort of like a, a beigeish, reddish brown. I like brain. this with maybe some uh, some accents or something. I don't want like the walls like boom. I'm having a tough time with this. I'm doing this for my girl. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous, you know, because I'm looking around and the crew that I assembled, they're not like Michelangelo's or anything. We're going to do Firefly in the bedroom. Can oh, we call it something else yeah. anyway? Kick-ass yellow. Kick-ass kick yellow. yellow. There, there you, you go. Kick-ass yellow in the bedroom. I thought we would have had more by now. I'm starting to get a little nervous. Start yelling names. <laughs>
We've been standing there for over an hour. We only have one autograph yet. And I'm like, Nicole, this is not going the way I thought it was going to go. David! David! Can you sign my painting for me? All right! <laughs> Excuse me, Kevin. You just left. Well, Kevin passed on us. Jason! Can you sign my painting? He said one second. Let's see if he's a man of his word. Coming up. I'm excited to see what Colin's going to be wearing. The food tasting puts Rob and Amber way behind schedule. We still have a lot to do. And the long road trip starts taking a toll. Hard. She's crying in the car and I'm pissed off. And later, the wedding of a lifetime. Rob and Amber Get Married will continue here on CBS. like beg these guys to come over and I understand they got a big game coming up but I mean hello it's Boston Rob <laughs> would you mind signing signing my painting sure thank you you can just sign like in the puddle somewhere maybe right, right on, on the butt right on my butt <laughs> Trot, would you mind signing my painting for me yes. it's a wedding gift for my fiance sure. thank you uh -huh. the funny thing is, is once I did get them over to the painting and I told them who it was for they're actually pretty excited because they like the guy Boston Robbie <laughs> Champions, we're gonna do it again too. <laughs> Thanks, man. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's awesome. You're welcome. Hey, Johnny, could you possibly sign my painting? Yeah, yeah absolutely. A gift for Boston Rob. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. My That's pleasure. Awesome. Playing the surprises for Rob has been great and fun, but way too time consuming. And the fact that I think I've lost track of planning a wedding, I have so much more wedding stuff to do, and it's it's driving me crazy. Let's go, rise and shine. Good afternoon. Oh, it's a pizza guy. What is this? You guys aren't supposed to be here till 10.30. Did you get my furniture? Yes, sir. Bring it nicely? It's all right. You want a drink or something? There's a keg in the garage. He got it, he got it. Come on, keep coming. Now it's here, I don't know what we got. Let's see what the heck we bought. Oh, that's nice. Where does it go, though? I thought this was supposed to be black. This was supposed to be brown. That is brown. What do you need, help with that five pound box? Don't block the cake. <laughs> For Gilly. Oh, it must be Italian. What do you got, lattice, brushes? Yep. Rollers. This is kick-ass yellow. Oh, it isn't. Yeah, it is. The yellow is for the bedroom. This is like olive green, kid. This kind of looks like macaroni, the color of it. Looks good. Yeah. Who knew you could paint? <laughs> Everybody is working really well together as a team. You know, we're doing this for Amber, and I think that's why they're, you know, putting their best foot forward. All right, boys, it's about that time. I got to head out. Good luck. All right, keep them in mind. I got you. You're gonna be on your knees to get some knee pads, bro. Thanks, bro. Have fun. Thank you. Let her on. Bye. Bye. All right. Beer time? Let's go to Lily's place. Nice. Very nice. Hello? Hi, is this Amber? Yes. Hi, Amber. This is Arlette. I was a little on edge. Anxiety attack is probably the best way <laughs> to describe because I really haven't seen her at all with this dress. Next to like these little things that I'm doing for Rob, I mean, this is this is the most important detail of the wedding to me. It really is. She showed me what she wanted. We drew it. Um, we went and we bought the fabric and that was it. She was gone. I haven't seen her. You better get down here for a fitting soon. I need you here once more before I do all the final stitches. This is really important. All right, um, I don't know what else to do. I need to get back home to try on my dress. Colin had me flying down to the Bahamas to do the food tasting, which, yeah, I know it's important, but honestly, to me, my number one concern is my dress. Planning this wedding has just been one thing after another, and it's starting to get to me. Hi, baby. Hi. How are you? I miss you. I miss you, too. It's good to see you. Colin's got us running around everywhere. It's been more stress and more work than anything else. The schedule's gonna be tight. Hopefully we'll be able to make it work. Let's go. Let's go. All right, time to go. 
We got drinks ready, lots like of cocktails. This is all ready. Thank you. There's a gazillion decisions to make. I'm excited to see what color it's going to be wearing. <laughs> we have four red ones to select, four white ones. We have to decide now champagne. Thank you. I have 40 dishes to confuse them with, and before they walk out of here, we're going to have the most ideal menu for the night. How are you? Good you well? You. Hey, handsome. What's up, bud? You well? I particularly like the matching <laughs> sandals and shirt. Well, I wasn't going to blend in. I wanted to stand <laughs> I'm out. I'm learning. <laughs> this is Mark. First of all, who's Hi, the Mark. executive chef? Hi, Mark. Hi, Amber. Nice yeah. to meet okay. you. Mark and Rob. Are you going to be doing the food for the wedding? I'm, I'm the guy. So what are we tasting now? This is a bruschetta of a sweet roasted bell peppers, a marinated feta cheese with watermelon, smoked salmon, and caviar. It needs a little cheese. So we came up with a mango gazpacho with chilies and lime juice. I don't know if everybody will like it. Rob? Honey. Waste not want none. And we have some sugar cane skewers with salmon and some vegetables. We've got some scallops and bacon for you. And these are chicken spring rolls with cashew nuts. Spin. I like the one before yeah. better than this. Yeah, this is our lobster salad. Very elegant. I like it very much. Lobster tail, prawns, lionfish. On top of that, there's the rice, the tomatoes, and the asparagus. Oh my god. This is a man's meal. I couldn't agree with you more. How are we going to decide? Colin, what do you suggest? I like the seafood idea. Go with the seafood. Great. Done. Done. I think we should have Love steak as well, though. Do you think we should have? No. No. Okay. Go see. Yeah. <laughs> On to a couple of things. You guys are going to taste some more cocktails with the master mixologist in New York. You got to write your vows. Okay. Okay. You have to decide who's going to marry you. Okay. I want you to figure out what your first dance song is going to be. Oh God. We have a lot to do. Then there's your final dress fitting: the jewelry, the waxing, the hair, the you pedicure, the manicure, we, we, we the we mixologist, the cocktail. Stop. <laughs> we still have a lot to do. In a very short amount of time. I know. Off we go. Like I just went through a tornado. Oh, I'm I mean, so overwhelmed. Colin is throwing details at us like left, right, left, right, left, right. And I'm thinking in my head, my God, how do I make all these decisions in such a short amount of time? Yeah. It's been ridiculous. I've been so friggin' busy. I haven't talked to anybody. My mom, my dad, nobody. Wanna walk on the beach? No. Why? You got shoes on and jeans, honey. Arla keeps bugging me because she wants me to come back and do a fitting. She can't do any more work on the dress at all. She needs to be measuring me now, finishing next week, and do another fitting after that. Okay, now I'm starting to get aggravated. Before a girl gets married, they enjoy those last moments at home, the last holidays, the last times you get to sleep in your own little bed, and I'm not getting to do that. So it makes me sad, and I know it makes my family sad. I'm moving away from mom and dad, too, <laughs> and it's tough. We would like to be able to have these last couple days with them. We're homesick, we miss everybody, and we're sad that we can't be there with them. Mario, this is Mariana, are you checking in? Yes. I don't know what to say to my mom right now. It's hard. I just. I want to tell her that I love her and, and that I will come home to it off. It's supposed to be fun doing this. She's crying in the car and I'm pissed off. <laughs> it's hard. They haven't got the dresses yet. The girls haven't tried anything on. There's a lot to do and not a lot of time. It's weird because I insisted on having this like extravagant wedding on a beach somewhere. And not just like the typical wedding where you get married in the church and you know, you do what your mom has always dreamed of because I always said, oh, you got that with my older sister. Now I want to do something different. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm always <laughs> being so difficult. It's not the little things. It's the big picture right now. Because our backs are against the wall and we don't have a lot of time. What do you want? I don't know. 
Give me like a... Want a beer? Red Bull? Yesterday was probably the longest day that we've had in planning this entire process. I mean, we packed so much in. Got down to the Bahamas, we're there for only a couple hours, we're back up to New York, you know, trying to do a million different things. I mean, it's still evident that we're just doing too much. We really need to slow down and focus on what still needs to be done with the wedding, because if we don't do that, I don't know how we're going to make it. I don't really know anything about this. I mean, obviously, neither of us have done this before, so... So basically today, we decided we need to breathe and figure out how we're going to get everything done. The first order of business was we wanted to write our vows. It should be like a couple sentences of... Amber, you're the most wonderful woman on earth. I don't know what I would have done. You want to write yours and I'll write mine? No. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just going to look up something about... I don't know, how other people have written vows or maybe like a guideline or something like that. That's a good idea. Simple, Simple steps. steps for writing your marriage vows, see? First, we were going to look up on the internet the set in stone way to do it, just because we didn't even know where to start. Well, look at all this stuff. You're going to say all this? And then how are you going to remember all that? Do you want to go outside and write them? Okay. You want to do that? Sure. Okay, let's do that. Let's go up on the roof. Okay, this is perfect. How do you start it, dear Amber? However you want. Amber and I decided we'd rather write our vows ourselves. It would be more meaningful and more to the heart. It's not necessarily a traditional way to do it, but nothing about this wedding really is traditional. I'm not really nervous about how it's going to turn out because I know no matter what, he's going to love whatever I have to say to him and, and I'm going to love whatever he has to say to me. All right. You're done? No, I'm not done. But I think we got a good start. You How too? much? Let me see. Wow. It was nice. I just took my time and just wrote. And, and, and it's enjoyable to write your vows, I think. It's enjoyable to write down why you love somebody and why you want to spend your life with them. I love you. <laughs> that should be it. That should be the vows right there. Simple and sweet. The unpacking process is gonna, probably going to take us maybe through the wedding. Wow, I think he bought the entire showroom. He shipped everything. I'll take two of those. One of these, two of these. For Amber's sake, we'll hope we can get everything everything laid out the way she would like it. What the heck is this? Yeah, this is a candle holder. Right? I don't know anything about anything. All right, what's that? That goes around the candles. You're putting five guys doing construction. Now we're interior decorators. It like illuminates the room with uh, like a nice aqua blue. A little illumination. Where would you like this, Captain? It, it, it's all candle holds. I don't know why we have any light fixtures. I've had about enough of this right now. The reason why we're in New York is because Colin wants us to meet with a mixologist. Rob and I get to put together a special drink that we basically invented and it'll be served at our wedding. It's just a different way to personalize things going on at our wedding. What exactly is a, mix, a mixologist? It's a mixologist is somebody who creates something that's more than pouring a drink in a glass. In Boston, we call that a bartender. <laughs> Deshaun was talking and doing his thing, and he was laying it on pretty thick. In the back of my mind, all I was thinking was, if this kid ever bartended in Boston, he'd get his ass kicked. This speaks wedding to me. What is this? These are dried roses. Or rose oh, those oh. are nice. Huh? What do you say? This is awesome. Yeah, I think we should do this. It's, I mean, I've never tasted a drink like this, ever. Let's put an orange in there, too. Floating <laughs> like an island. How about oranges for the guys? And roses for the girls. And roses think, for the girls. I, I think I'm able to compromise with you, though. Oh, nice. Thank you. Coming. All right. All right. Okay. There's going to be roses. There's going to be islands. We should call it Rose Island. I like that, but let's spell it like Rose Island with a Z. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be personal, so let's it's mix personal. it up a It's personal, but I don't know the last time I ever went to a bar to order a drink and they asked me, how do you spell that? <laughs> we are finishing up paint today, I believe. And moving the furniture in. I think that's right, right? Uh, pretty close. Keep All it right. coming, keep it coming. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. We decided these were a little too feminine for Rob, so we're going to cut them off and make him a necklace. Pain in the ass. Oh, 
Hey, what's up? A working kid. What, what do you think? These guys are hardworking guys. The only problem is you get a couple of them together, and the next thing you know, they're painting each other instead of the walls. Good working, good working, guys. Today wasn't bad at all. No, I liked it today. Much better than yesterday, that's for sure. You know what was nice today was that Amber and I were able to relax a little bit for the first time. Wanna dance? You want to practice? Yeah. I kind of forget, honestly. Like, I feel like I really should practice because I'm kind of forgetting. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? I'm turning it up. Watch, there's the lamp. I don't no, know I if I'm... Amber really wants me to learn how to dance. Good. And it's important to me, too. I don't want to get out there on my first dance and look like a jackass. Slow, slow, click, click. So many people get caught up in their weddings and lose track of the fact that it's actually supposed to be fun. I mean, I know ever since I was a little girl, I looked forward to planning my wedding. I'll see you in Boston. Are you excited to go try your dress on? Very excited, actually. Honey, honey, what are you doing? He likes to do things the most difficult way. I'm looking forward to trying on my dress because that'll be one of the first key moments of feeling like a bride. I think this is going to be a good trip for Amber because she'll be able to get home, see her family, see her mom and her sister, talk to a designer about the dress, and, you know, it's been on her mind a lot. It's very important to her. Goodbye, I love you. I love you too. It's definitely tough to say goodbye. We got to see each other for a couple days, but we know it's only going to be a few more days. We'll be back together, and she needs to do what she needs to do, and so do I, and that's how we make it work, you know? This morning, I came over to Martin Katz here in New York. I was going to pick up wedding rings that Amber and I picked out last week. We're counting on you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. How we'll do we down. do? Good. We did very good, actually. They're beautiful. Both let's, of them. Both let's of see them. Them. Let's see. Wow. That's nice. Beautiful, huh? It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, now look at yours. Oh, nice. One other thing. Mm -hmm. I want to get Amber a pair of earrings. As a surprise. As a wedding gift. Yes. Very nice. What do you think about those? These are nice. I designed a ring and I wanted to get something that was similar. They look beautiful. I'll take them. Okay, great. Amber's been wearing fake diamond earrings since I met her. She's very conservative with money and she doesn't like to splurge on herself at all. So all right, it's really so gonna mean a lot to her to see that I went out and I got her the real thing. You're welcome. See bye -bye. You, you too, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Rob's gonna be here in about 40 minutes, so let's get a jump on things. Explain to me. So I'm about to get back to the house right now, and I'm really excited. I'm um, excited to see what the guys did, but even more than that, I'm uh, really excited to see my buddies. I don't think in a million years he would ever believe this. I just want to see the expression on his face. That'll make my week. Thanks a lot, buddy. They did over here. This better be good. Coming up. Amber sees her dress for the very first time. You can't feel any more like a bride. Then, the final dance lesson before heading to the wedding. You don't learn rhythm. Either you have it or you don't. It's all coming up as Rob and Amber get married. Honey, I'm home. Wow. Hey, who's home? Holy crap. Nice job, guys. When I walked into the house, I was shocked. These guys really went to work. They stepped it up beyond my wildest dreams. Wow, huh? This looks like a completely different place. They basically came down here, poured their blood, sweat, and tears into this house to make it a home for Amber and I. How the bedroom turn out? Check it out. Sweet. It's a love nest. Wow. The biggest thing about the bedroom that Amber's gonna absolutely be blown away by is the canopy bed. I can't believe it. I'm in shock. Looks like a completely different place. Thanks a lot. We get the grill ready. So, 
I think Amber is going to be blown away by the fact that my friends, my brother, and my brother-in-law came down here and gave me a week out of their lives to put this together and to make this the most special wedding present ever. It was sad to leave Rob, but it's then again a little bonus to come home and see my mom and see my family. As soon as I get home and walk in the door, I'm going to give my mom a huge hug. Hi. Hello. Mm -hmm. I missed you. I missed you too. Hi, Daddy. It means a lot to me to just be back in the hometown where I feel comfortable and just can be myself. Have you talked to Arlette? Because I should probably call her and let her know I'm in town. And then Okay, go Arlette's been calling me nonstop saying she needs me in for a fitting. Hello? <laughs> I'm glad I'm home too. I was just calling to tell you that, um, well, I'm home to try my dress. Okay, well, I'll talk to you in a little while. I'm on my way right this second. Bye bye. I couldn't wait to walk upstairs and go around the corner. And it was weird, I saw Arlette and I gave her a big hug, but I was kind of peeking around her because I saw my dress hanging there. <gasps> well, now dress. you remember, it's spaced it together. Nothing's been done. It's a pretty See something, wow. see something, see something. It's an actual dress. You can't feel any more like a bride when you try on your own wedding gown. And it looks good. That little start It does. It makes you look sick. <laughs> it is a surreal kind of a moment, I mean, you see her in this dress, and it really comes to light that she is getting married. This needs to take it in here, okay? See, this will be tighter in here. You're getting married. Is that yeah. hard? Is it hard? Is it hard? Oh, oh my gosh, like I love I this. Love it. Look at all, look yeah, don't this. you love this? It's, it's like a diamond. Oh. It's like a diamond. <laughs> oh, wow. I definitely had Rob in mind when designing this gown because not only do I want to love it, but I want him to look down the aisle and see me and go, oh, wow, you know how pretty she looks. Don't cry. Oh, stop it. So the big sister factor, Nicole looking over me and and crying like that. Why are you crying? <laughs> My mom, you know, is sad about letting her little girl go, but in a sense, you know, Nicole's, you know, five years older than me, and she kind of looks over me that way, too. <laughs> well, with Amber moving away, growing up and moving away like this, it's really hard to realize that she's going. It's going to be very difficult for me. <laughs> Okay. Do you miss me? Of course. Are you glad to be Thank home? You. Are you excited to go dancing tomorrow? Of course I am. So you got your dancing shoes on? Yeah, I wore my purple ones this time instead of my pink ones like last time. Amber and I got our second dance lesson. The wedding's not that far off now, so we want to make sure that we got everything down. Hello? We're back. How's the dancing coming along? Okay. It's feeling better. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now, what I would like to do is actually add some more swing. So let's just go over the basic step. So you're going to go side, side, side. That's it. Good. Now, I want you just to march in place. So just do march, 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 march. There you go. Good. So now, we're going to put both of these parts together. This might be a little bit ambitious. <laughs> no, no. You're going to lift, then Amber turns, rock, step, lift. She turns again, not just a normal. Then back into the basic. Okay? Baby, I know it's easy for you. You've been doing it since you're little. I know, but we're trying I'm saying, to explain it to you, me. so if you listen I, I to understand it. it completely. It's not that I don't I grasp like it listening. or understand it. I completely get it. It's just that I have trouble, like, doing one thing and the other. Like singing that. and dancing, like, two things I just, I don't get. I don't have rhythm, you know? That's the only thing. I just don't. Okay. I try it, but I don't. But, but People are born with it. You don't learn rhythm. Either okay, you have you learn, it or you, you don't. Learn steps. But you can learn steps. On any normal day, it would have been fine, but we're getting close, and it seemed a lot more overwhelming. I'm starving. All that dancing took everything out of me. Okay. Hi. How are you? 
Bon appétit. Bon appétit. That's great. Honey, it looks delicious. Yeah, Ma, it looks really good. She made a lot of food. It was kind of like the last supper, because after this, Amber and I will be married. So for my parents, kind of like the last time to have all their kids together, single. I remember the first time I walked in the house, your mom was like, whatever you need, just look through the cupboards, feel comfortable here, and right from the very first day, that's what I did. It's always special when Amber comes home to my family because she fits right in and it seems like she's always been here. My sister never had a sister and they get along like sisters. My brother gets along with her like he's been a friend for years. And my mom and dad, you know, that she's like a second daughter to him. So it's really special to me to be marrying the girl that I love and that my family accepts so much. Coming up, the celebration gets underway in the Bahamas. Ah! 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 Then Rob and Amber reveal their first surprises. <laughs> Don't cry, baby. Oh my God! It's all leading up to their big day. Amber, I've never met anyone who has made me feel so special until I met you. Rob and Amber Get Married will continue here on CBS. This is it. This is the last trip here. This is the one. I've been saying that to you all morning long. I know. This is going to be fun. Hi, welcome to the Lost City of Bananas. Hello, thank you. Today we had a couple of things to do on our list. We got to meet with JP, who was going to marry us. What is your perfect ceremony? You know what you have to do? No don't, pressure. Don't, don't, <laughs> just, just don't make it that long. <laughs> then we went over to meet with the magistrate who really made things official. We actually signed the actual marriage license. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> You'll be married, Rob. Yes, sir. <laughs> and we just got surprised that we actually get to go choose where we're going on our honeymoon. Look how big this brochure is. People at the Atlantis gave us a book and told us pick wherever you want to go. Ooh, Dubai. Dubai is good. Maldives. That's far away. This is amazing. Well, what is this? It's a picture of the water, baby. You That's all I need. We can go to Mexico or we can go to the Maldives. No, Mexico is much closer. We're going to waste a whole day flying there. So we'll go to Cabo? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess started rolling in. And most important for me was seeing my family and Amber's family, of course. Hey, everybody. Can I get your attention real quick, please? Amber and I just wanted to uh, welcome you all down to the Bahamas. We thank you guys so much for coming. It really means a lot to us. So let's party. <laughs> Where's the sausages with peppers and onions? Let's go. Over here, honey. <laughs> Rob and I had the idea that we needed some competition at our barbecue. You know, we're going to the casino now. It's winner take all at the craft stable. Bring it on, baby. There goes the survivor winning. <laughs> Come on, Amber! Nothing, nothing, nothing! Yeah! yeah. Six winner! Need an eight, baby! Oh. Give me the eight! Eight! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was most looking forward to this week. And now that it's here, it's going way too fast. I can't believe it's already the day of the bachelorette party. But you've probably figured it out by now. We're not going shopping. We're going to Blue Lagoon Island, where they have dolphin encounters. Yay! Yeah, let's go with the dolphins! Woo! It's my bachelor party. I wanted to get all the guys together and go out fishing. On one boat, the family, one boat, the friends. This is my dad, Bob. Nice to meet you. My uncle, Jim. The biggest thing about this bachelor party for me is that it's really surreal seeing people from all different parts of my life in one place. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I love the fact that my family and friends get to come down and experience this amazing place with me. Definitely isn't your typical bachelorette party. Yeah! Woo! Oh my god, I can't believe it. The 
rehearsal dinner, which means the wedding is tomorrow. Cheers. Do it. Hey, everybody, if I could have your attention, please. Colin Cowie, our wedding planner, told Rob and I that he wanted us each to plan a couple surprises for each other. So Rob went out and did some surprises for me without me knowing about it, and I did the same thing. And uh, actually, right now, Rob's going to get his first surprise. <laughs> oh, I'm soaked to the bone. Where's it going, anyways? Florida. <laughs> oh my god, you got to go to spring training without me? That's not like drawing attention to ourselves, right? Jason! I'm Amber. I know who you are. Oh, okay, good. This is for us, Boston Rock. It's a okay. wedding gift for people. Would you mind signing my painting for me? Yes. It's a wedding gift for my fiance. Sure. Thank you. Uh -huh. She got to go down there and meet Jason Veritek, Johnny Damon, Bronson Arroyo. I mean, these are my boys, and she's in spring training. I've never even been to spring training. So. Austin Robbie! <laughs> Champions! We're gonna do it again, too. Be faithful to your wife and stop cheating like you do on all the games. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I all really right. appreciate no it. Problem. Thanks. We actually got the uh, painting shipped down here. Not too many people get to see Rob cry. <laughs> Everybody thinks that he is just the toughest guy out there. So the fact that he broke down in front of that many people, I know it meant a lot to him. We really need to build a really big house. Speaking of the uh, really big house with the really big wall, one of my surprises is coming up next. <laughs> hey, baby, have I got a surprise for you? When Colin told us that we had to come up with the most ultimate wedding gifts for each other, I was stumped. I was like, what am I going to get her? Well, I realized that we've spent pretty much our entire relationship on the road, and we really haven't had a place to call our own. Well, thanks to my mom and dad, now we're going to live here. Oh. It's a brand new house. And as beautiful as it is, it was just bare. It's just a house. But with the help of my brother, my new brother-in-law and my friends were able to turn this house into a home for us. Oh. Check this out. Oh. Oh. The colors on the wall are bright, and I know you don't like white walls, so I really tried to incorporate everything you've been hinting towards me over the past year and a half. Oh my God. Over here, we have our own kitchen table. So now, I can make you dinner, and sit down, and have an awesome meal. Someday, we'll fill the other chairs up with the family. Oh my god! Come on, I want to show you the most special room I did. The bedroom. I know, right? This was really important to me to do this because of something that happened while we were in Botswana. You remember the bed? On and on you went about the bed and the curtains. Now we have our own. I know that it's something that you really wanted and you were really looking forward to. Thank you. Oh, my God. We have good friends, baby. I love you so much. I hope you love what I did. I hope you love the house. I love you. I can't wait to marry you. Bye, honey. I was blown away. What an amazing idea. The fact that, you know, he went, oh, you know, overboard and did what he did. Unbelievable. It was so romantic. Tonight is perfect. This is the last night. This is it. Tomorrow, you know, tomorrow's the big day. Cheers. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Coming up, the wedding day.
And they thought this was a simple beach wedding. And Rob and Amber exchange one final surprise. Oh my God. Rob and Amber Get Married will continue here on CBS. Today is my wedding day. Happy wedding day to me. I don't get to say that very often. That one and this one. Right. That one and this one. Down two, three, back two, three, exit two, three. We've got activity on the beach. We've got activity over here. This is 230 guests. This entertainment. There's fireworks. It's all coming together. Yeah, and they thought this was a simple beach wedding. <laughs> You gotta do something for me. I got Amber some earrings. Wow. Now it's time to give Amber my second surprise. Almost it. It's starting to get a little late. So I knew Rob would love the painting, but for the wedding day surprise, I wanted to do something a little bit more personal. So I got sand from Panama from where we fell in love and sand from the Bahamas from where we were gonna get married. And I put them together in a necklace. There's a poem that's inside the box with a necklace. Hello. Hello. Hey. I come bearing gifts. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. And she would like if you would wear it today. Okay. And also there's a poem in there that I had given my husband when we got married. This is the poem. The night before marriage. Tomorrow when I come to you, I put within your hand body, heart, and soul, as who but women understand, so that I never leave your breast. <laughs> Read on. <laughs> to dreams of other things, but I find in you my end of quest, my comfort, and my wings. I'll keep it with me forever. Oh my God. How are you? Wow. All right. This card says it all. <laughs> <laughs> Love you with all my heart. <laughs> Forever and ever. And, and ever. ever. <laughs> Good things come in small boxes. Exactly. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. Mark, come on in. Housekeeping. What's up? You know? Good morning, Mr. Mariano. How are you? Yeah. It's game day. <laughs> The guys have it so easy. They don't have to figure out what hairstyle they're gonna do, what makeup they're gonna do. They don't have to worry about their nails, their toenails. It's ridiculous. That's for the shish kebab chef. This is very nice, fabulous. Hallelujah. These dresses are so pretty. Oh, and you know I don't like bridesmaids' dresses. Oh, look at her shoes. Oh, wow. Ooh, look how pretty. We need to make sure that this beading sits on top of the seam, otherwise it draws your eye to the wrong thing. So we are going to have aqua light on, the, on these draperies, and they're going to be rare projected with the images of the ocean moving through them. So this has also become a very romantic space. We've been playing around with ideas for a great musician to do a live performance for Robin Amber's first dance. What immediately came to my mind was to work with Chris Botti. I mean, he's the most extraordinarily talented trumpeter. We now have a metallic turquoise dance floor, which is just gonna sparkle at night when we hit it with some light. to bring Rob and Amber in for the first time. They're being led by B.B. Winans, this amazing gospel choir, all in white robes. I love drama, and this is gonna be one of those big dramatical moments. Oh Funny. my gosh, you guys are gorgeous. All right, guys, we got a gift for everybody. Tommy Bahama. Wow. Oh, nice. We're getting ready for the big moment, and we're gonna have a good time. I'm glad I was behind you. Don't you look gorgeous? A 
I've heard so much about this dress the first time I get to see it. Did you make the dress? Yes, I did. My name's Colin Cowan. This is Carla. Hi, Nice Marla. to meet you, Marla. Nice How are you? Too. I must tell you, I was blown away when I just saw that wedding dress now. And she is alive and she looks beautiful and she's going to look stunning when she walks down the aisle. How does Rob look? Does he look handsome? He looks very handsome. He really does. Well, it was a lot of fun to have all my uh, friends and my buddies here. My dad took the edge off, you know, a little bit. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. It's kind of funny to have so much attention focused on me today. I mean, everybody wants to see me today. Everybody wants to come give me a hug today and, and give me little gifts. It's better than Christmas morning. I'm excited for it. I'm not nervous at all. I'm ready to be a married woman. The wedding is next as Rob and Amber get married here on CBS. excited to be Mrs. Rob Mariano. I think Rob and I were both kind of shocked a little bit as to how amazingly we clicked right away. It felt so great, so fast. Here we are falling in love. This is crazy. He's always telling me how he feels about me. He's very, very romantic, very sensitive. He's just not that tough guy that everybody knows about. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I think about is Amber. When I go to bed, she's the last thing on my mind. It's kind of ironic, but I found my perfect person when I was starving on an island in the middle of Panama. I remember always telling my friends, you should date for at least a year before you get engaged. And Rob and I definitely weren't together for a year, so you don't have to put any time limit on love. And I love that. People say, like, you know, how did you know that Amber was the one and this and that? When you know, you know. It's not one thing that I love about Amber. It's not even a list of things. It's just Amber, everything about her. I would love for the wedding to last forever. I mean, I'm ready for it to be here, but I'm not ready for it to end. I really, really would love just to enjoy every single second of the day. If you look about, you will readily see what an extraordinary gathering we are. We come from so many different times and places and moments in the lives of Amber, Rob, their families. But no matter how or where or when we first met Rob and Amber, over these last few days, each of us has had an opportunity to eat and drink and tell the wonderful stories of our friendship. But on this night, the story that we celebrate is the story of your friendship. Amber, Rob, you might have started out as competitors, <laughs> but tonight you stand side by side as each other's best and truest friend. And so it is that we who are your family and friends in the presence of God and with open hearts now bear witness as you pledge your lives to each other. Nicole, Mike, if you might present the vows, please. Lock them up, kids. <laughs> oh, you got a nice piece of paper. Huh? <laughs> 
I'm a girl. <laughs> Amber, I've never met anyone who has made me feel so special until I met you. You make me smile, you make me laugh, you make me feel important and smart. <laughs> Sometimes you make me crazy. <laughs> Then you make things all right again. You've taught me patience, and you taught me compromise. You brought me into your family. You've given me friendship. You've given me love. You've always given me the window seat. <laughs> and today, you're giving me all of you. For this, I am honored and privileged. And in return, I promise to always be true to you to always treat you with respect, to always be your friend, to always put you above everything else, and to always love you with all my heart, forever and ever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Amen. Uh, okay. That was very good. I don't know if we're going to do so good. Okay. <laughs> Robert. I want you to know that even though this wedding has turned out to be more than I ever dreamed, it would not be perfect without you standing here in front of me today. You are what matters most. Today I stand here telling you that I am yours. My heart is filled with love for you and our future together. I promise to be patient and giving, understanding and truthful, and dedicated to your every need. I promise to always be there with you to laugh or even cry and to learn and grow old. Thank you for making my fairy tale wedding come true. And by that I mean thank you for giving me you. I love you. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> Family and friends, will you promise to continue to love and support Rob and Amber in their life together? And will you always remind them of the love that you bore witness to and celebrated this night? If so, shout out, we will. We will. <laughs> so be it. Rob, Amber, if you join hands, please. As you gaze upon each other's hands, know that these are the hands that will hold your children. These are the hands that will hold your family as one. And these are the hands, when old and wrinkled, will still reach out to you, will still comfort you with the touch that comforts you tonight. Rob, Amber, whenever you glance upon these rings, may you always know that you are loved beyond all imagining. Take this ring as a sign of my love. Rob, take this ring as a sign of my love. Rob, Amber, surrounded by the love of your family and friends, it is in their name that I bid you both and pray God. May you always love like you have never been hurt. May you always comfort with gentle whispers. May you always dance like no one is watching. And may God ever gracious grant you peace. Peace in your hearts, peace in your home, peace in your united lives. Indeed, peace unto eternity. And now, by the power vested in me, it is my honor and sweet delight to pronounce as and to present for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Mariano. <laughs> and Rob, you may kiss.
I definitely got my fairy tale wedding. Definitely. I was calm the entire day. As soon as I hit the arch, I was like, oh, oh God, here we go. And uh, I mean, the clinch of the moment was the fact that my veil gets caught in the arch. Those are the moments that make your wedding your own. I see Amber coming down the aisle, and uh, I was just like, wow. I mean, my girl's beautiful, but today she was extra beautiful. Uh -huh. Happy day. Happy day. Happy day. The gospel singers and BB were unbelievable. I was just dancing with them and singing happy with them. Day. Oh, happy. It's my, my honor, honor to introduce, introduce for the, the first, first time, time, Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Rob, Rob and Amber, Amber Mariano. <laughs> to perform their first dance song, please welcome Chris Bodie. Way too nervous. The it thing is, didn't feel right. The dance lessons pretty much went out the door after. Out two the steps. window. Out the window. All right. Our dance might not have been so interesting to watch, but you know what? That moment was really about us and our first dance, and I think we really connected and. We really loved each other's company at that moment. Ladies and gentlemen, bon appetit. And we both look like rock stars because all of our guests enjoy. I've never seen shrimp so big in my entire life. For me, this is the most happy moment of the whole night. Clearly, the party's a great success. Just look over my shoulder. Everyone's having a good time. They've had lots to eat, lots to drink. Rose Island drink, honey! And there's lots more to party. The cake was unbelievable. It was beautiful and it was so good. As soon as we cut the cake, all of a sudden you see fireworks popping up everywhere. White, just like I like. <laughs> oh, look at the tail! And then <laughs> the Junkadoo band came in. That really got the party started. It was probably one of the first times in this entire stressful process that I actually had a genuine smile on my face and I was having fun and I looked around and the people that I saw up there. We had the end pieces on yeah. at one point. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, it turned into the party that we wanted because we had a blast and we know that all our guests had a blast and that is really what matters the most to us. I love you so much. I'm having 
it's so much fun. <laughs> Me too. The bottom line, tonight was the best night of my life. No. Best night of my life. Robin Amber, today, tomorrow, and forever. Cheers.